It did not stay awake all night to study with eyelids dropping over pages and pages of the textbook. Science today says that this is not the best way to study. You will have a lot more fun than you thought when you study smart. And what's even more amazing is that the coolest way to study work best to make the most of those few days before a big test. Hello beautiful lovelies, welcome to my YouTube channel. From today's video, I will give you the best study tips that have been proven to work by science, along with a clear explanation of why you need to use them. I know you might say that spending a lot of time studying in front of a computer or in a library is the best way to learn. Is it true? If you said yes, you are stuck and have a completely wrong idea. And that's why you think studying is a kind of boring thing. Because if you use the best way to study, you will never get bored and you will fall in love with studying repeatedly. What is this best tip for studying? Okay lovelies, today I am going to tell you the smart study tips that have been proven by science and that you must use if you want to become addicted to studying. These are my best secrets and if you watch the video all the way to the end, you will find out the best bonus way to study. First, the best but unlikely help of studies is exercise. The chemicals in your blood change when you exercise which is good for how your brain works. The reason is that exercise gives the brain the food it needs and in return, the brain improves its ability to pay attention to solve problems and to process information quickly. Let me tell you how this works. Well, in studies, our brains should be better at processing information. Only brains that work well have a better ability to remember things. Hormones that change mood also make the brain work better. Hormones like dopamine, serotonin and endorphin can change your mood. When you work out, these brain boosting chemicals are released. This is how working out helps you study. So what you need to do now is any kind of exercise in between times when you study. It can be anything like going to the gym, swimming, kicking a ball or dancing. You can choose based on what you like and what you have access to. Just remember that you don't have to work out for hours. Just 20 minutes is enough. We need to save our time so we can study. On the other hand, exercising in between study sessions is a good way to break up long boring study sessions. This is very important if you don't want to cram. Modern science says that cramming is not a good thing and does not help in any way. Because cramming means to fill our brains with a lot of information at once. There are two parts to how the brain works, short term memory and long term memory. The information that is too much will never have a chance to get into long term memory. Short term memory takes up all the free space in your brain. Information is all over the place like a jumbled puzzle. That's why it seems so hard to put together all the information you need to write an exam answer. Because smart study means being able to turn information into knowledge instead of just collecting it all. If you cram, you will never be able to turn information into knowledge. So how do we turn short term information into knowledge that will last a long time? Well, it happens when you keep seeing, hearing and thinking about the same information over and over again. Once after you learn about a topic, just put down the note and then do some exercise and think about it and talk to someone who knows about the subject. This is how you can retell and reflect same information again and again. When you do this, your brain can easily turn short term information into long term knowledge. This knowledge will then stay in your memory for the rest of your life, so you can use it whenever you need to. How you do your study? I ask again. Is it about reading the same things over and over? If it is, I am sorry to say that it is not about studying smart even if it seems easier. Reading the same information over and over like a parrot is a waste of time. In 2010, Washington University did a study to compare how well repeated tests and repeated studying work. Results showed that repeated testing is a much better way to learn than just reading. Here what you need to do is test yourself between short periods of exercise and studying. Or find someone who is studying the same subject as you and test each other. Talk about the results and evaluate how you did. 
This way you can keep studying even when you are moving around. You should not study alone and you also should not study without taking test. If you don't test your knowledge every so often, you will not be able to see where your real knowledge gaps are. And don't forget that you should get a lot of sleep because it's important for your brain to grow. During the first few hours of the day, the alpha waves in a person's brain are more active. This helps the brain take in information and turn it into knowledge easily. A healthy study plan should include four things. Short, intense study sessions, exercise, learning from other people and getting enough sleep at night. If you can sneak in a quick nap in the afternoon, that's great too. Because a power nap during the day gives you enough alpha brain waves to study for one day apart from the early morning. Not only that, but a good night's sleep also helps in other ways. When you learn something new, your brain cells starts to make new connections that reach out and link to other cells. Sleep not only helps these cells grow, but it also helps them connect. For an example, think of the brain as a tree and sleep as the tree's miracle grow. During sleep, all the small branches start to grow and get stronger. On the other hand, I can say that studying late at night is not productive or good for you. Because being restless makes it hard for the brain to process information. It also means that too much information in the brain is just overbearing. According to the research findings, it usually takes about 4 days for a person's brain to get back to normal after staying up all night. I think now you know why you should not study for long hours straight. I suggest that you should take a break every hour you study. For an example, you could study for an hour, take a short break and then do some exercise or talk with a study buddy before going back to the material. Researchers at the Stanford School of Medicine have found that playing classical music helps students stay connected to and interested in the source material even though some other researchers disagree with the findings. Some students like to study in silence but listening to uplifting music without lyrics can make you feel better and help your brain to keep retain the information more. In an active learning session, dopamine has been found to be the brain's save button. It means that some uplifting music, light, a box of cookies and your favorite warm drink can help the brain remember what it has learned. This is because when the brain is in its reward mode, it's more interested in whatever motivation are around even if they have nothing to do with studying. You might think this study tip is funny and dumb, but it's very strong and you must do that. Scientists have found that Doing a power pause is a great way to remember things quickly. This is something you should do before going into the exam room. Think of yourself as Wonder Woman or Superman. Spread your legs apart, put both hands on your hips, open your chest, take a deep breath and say something impressive. Remember that you should do this before the test in a private place like the bathroom. It's up to you how you want to do it. You might feel wired and stupid for doing this, but this pause can lower the stress hormone cortisol and rise testosterone which makes you stronger and more ready for the test according to science. Ok, don't forget to take breaks, get enough sleep, exercise, talk with a study buddy and strike the power pause. You will be 100% ready for that test not just mentally but also physically, spiritually and emotionally. Do you know of any other tried and true tips that I didn't mention? Tell me what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe. See you again soon.